All right, community, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. Hey, everybody. A couple weeks ago, I was in Destin, Florida with some pastor's wives, friends of mine, and I got a chance to talk to them about what peace and balance meant to them. Hey everybody, it's Ruth, and welcome to My Perfect Peace Community, where we find peace and balance in a world of chaos. I am here in Destin, Florida, with a group of ladies, and we are here hanging out, finding peace and balance. I'm here with Lady Kiwanis Hockett, and she is going to tell me what peace and balance means to her. Okay, peace and balance means to me, first of all, I had to fall in love with the Prince of Peace. And because of him, every challenge, every situation, he's right there with me. And I know this to be true. So I bring him into everything. So not just at church events, but like being on the beach or having fun with my family or working in the yard or uh, dancing and finding places that would just be like, oh, good food, as you can tell. You know, I just love life. Just knowing that he gave me that abundant life and he fulfills every dream, everything. Uh, even though there are difficult times, we have situations, you know, with people that you love that can be very difficult or you yourself may go through some physical challenges. But knowing he's right there, he is the prince of it, and he said, I can have it. So peace is a part of his character and his group. So I accept it as mine too. All right, I am here with Lady Marion Hockett, and she is going to tell us what peace and balance means to her. All right, Lady Marion. Uh, to me, peace is just resting in the assurance that God has it. I'm not worried about it. Uh, even though my circumstances may have not changed, I have confident in knowing that the end result is what God has purposed for me. So I'm going to rest in His confidence in knowing that. The balance is just being stable in whatever God has told you. I'm not going to fluctuate up and down. I'm going to stay balanced the whole time until His work is finished. And that's what peace and balance means to me. All right. Y'all got that? All right, I'm here with Lady Melissa Redmond, and she is gonna tell us what peace and balance means to her. When I think about peace and I think about balance, I think about changing your mindset, and actually not only changing your mindset, but being willing to go outside of what others think that you may do to receive your freedom. Because the word of God says, where there's liberty, there is freedom. So we have to not only have that balance and that peace and that freedom, but we also have to be willing to go outside tradition and do what makes us comfortable, not only in our spiritual journey, but also in our personal life and our marriage. So we are here today on the White Beach, on the White Beach here in Destin, Florida, and we are having a blast. So whatever you need to do to make sure that you are receiving and walking in freedom and walking in liberty, I want to encourage you to do that because you know what you need to get to the place of peace, whether it's relieving stress, whether it's taking others' burdens off for you and put them somewhere else so that you can exercise your freedom. And not only that, but if you are married, please make sure that you take time for rest and relaxation to rekindle those flames. And therefore, you will not only have peace in your marriage, but peace in your home. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye. All right. Now I'm here with Lady Kimberly McGahey, and she is going to tell us what peace and balance means to her. I try to pick God. 
slide in at some point of the day and get my time in that way. Um, but when I can start with him and rest in him, I can go and no matter what happens in my day, it can be rocky, but I feel that peace and that balance with him. We have to, we have to do that. We all can do a lot of good things. I think the enemy wants us to be busy doing a lot of things, but we don't have that peace and balance and rest. We have to take care of our bodies. Then we're no good. We're doing good things. Broke down, I guess. So, uh, but when we can pull away too in a place like this, at least for me, it just uh, magnifies that peace and balance. So, get your peace and balance. Love you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and really gained some more knowledge about peace and balance in your life. All right, remember, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And remember, peace is the state of mind.